Hey, this is Dan from UserSplice.com, and I'm going to show you a very quick way to speed up your database 25 to 100 times, depending on what you're doing. And uh, so I have a basic table here, nothing too fancy. In fact, if we look at the data, um, you can see that there's almost 875,000 rows in this thing. And it's just a, a very simple, um, we'll call it a sales table, and it tells you... Uh, you know the customer ID the cashier ID what department they bought the thing from what item and this is the total um, it's obviously not the price of the item it's the total amount of that item they bought what time whether it's been complete like nothing fancy in terms of data there's just a lot of rows and um, so let's say that what you would want to do our challenge for the day is we're gonna go through and we're gonna see how much um, cashier 5 sold of a particular item and so if we were to come in here and just do a raw SQL query um, I would say you know I want the ID and I want to sum up all of the sales that of item number 1052 the cashier 5 sold and so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna look and we're gonna see it took a about a third to a fourth of a second uh, sorry a third to a, uh, four tenths of a second and so we're gonna switch over to PHP and we're gonna just look at this in uh, just how it would look in your real world application. So we're gonna say the cashier is five and then I've given it just this random item number and we're gonna do that same query and we're going to just dump the income. So if I were to come over here and refresh the page, you would see that the whole page loaded in 565 milliseconds. And so um, not terrible, user spice five is, is faster on this type of stuff, but this is user spice four. Um, you know, so you think, well, what's the big deal? It took half a second to load. Well, what if you want to do something like a chart? And what if you want to say, all right, we're going to forget this, but we want to show, I'm going to bring in another query here. We want to show what would happen if we went through every item from item 1000 to item 2000 and we summed it up and we want to view how many they sold or how much they sold well for brevity's sake i've already done that and i don't want to bring the i don't want to make the computer do it again because it took 504 thousand milliseconds which is 8.4 minutes to run that query to basically go through 1000 items and find out how much of that did cashier 5 sell and cashier five sold you know a thousand of this and you know, 178 of that and all that that took almost eight almost eight and a half minutes which is just absolutely ridiculous and if this was your application you have thousands of items like you just can't have them run that long and so the the question is why and and it's because it has to go through the entire table and look for this item number whether it's at the beginning or the end and so we're going to use something called B tree and um, the best way I can explain it there's a lot of really technical um, you know there's a lot of really technical explanations on the internet but let's just say you've got a room with a thousand people in it and they all have unique names and you're looking for Dan and so basically what would happen is you could go up to each and every person and say are you Dan are you Dan are you Dan and you know on average you're gonna hit it about the 500th person but what if you could have a list and say everybody on the left side of the room their names begin with A through M and everybody on the right side of the room theirs begin with N through Z and then you say well alright then in the first in the front left quad quadrant everybody is A through D you know all of a sudden you could start you can kind of visualize the idea of narrowing down your search query and not having to look through as much of the database as before so what we're going to do i'm going to do something i'm going to drag these queries in real quick because i'm going to show you um how they work and we're going to do this in php we could just as easily run this in php my admin but i'm going to comment these in for a second and i'm going to comment everything else out um so what i have here is a very simple database query create index and then what you're going to do is you're going to give it a unique index now let me i'm going to snap this over here so we can look at the database so what you can see if you look here we are searching where item equals something and cashier equals something and so basically what we want to do is we want to say hey item and cashier are important and they're things that we're going to search the database by so we need to be able to find these quickly so what we're going to say 
is we're going to create an index and we're going to give it a unique name and uh, we're going to create one on item. And so I like to call it item index to make it really simple. And then we're just going to say using Btree. And same thing, cashier index on cashier using Btree. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to refresh the page. It's not going to do anything. Um, let's see, let's make sure that it actually refreshed. Hit enter. What's going on there? Okay, there we go. So we refresh the page so I can comment this out. We don't need it anymore. And then we can come in here and do this same thing. We're going to say, I want to see everything from item 1000 to item 2001, add them up and echo out the prices just like we did here. The only difference is that it's not going to take 500,000 milliseconds. So we're going to save. Uh, we're saved and we're going to come in here. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to reload the page and it's not going to be instantaneous. I don't think it's, yeah, there we go. It's not, <laughs> that's funny. So if you were following along, I'm sure you saw what I just did. I had cashier commented out. So I'm going to comment that back in and I'm going to hit enter again and we're going to make sure the page is actually loading this time. And you'll see that it should take uh, eight to 12 seconds, something like that, maybe a little bit more to go through and do all of that calculations. All right, yeah, eight, 11 seconds. So not instantaneous, and there are some other things you could do to speed it up, but what you'll see there is, I mean, that's roughly 45 times faster than doing it the old way. And so all you did was added these two lines of code and you sped up your database 45 times and so again there's always more things you can optimize there's always more things you can do to be faster but one of the simplest things to do is to come in here and add these indexes and so you'll see they're added in here in fact you can even add them you can create indexes here in PHP my admin there's a lot of different ways to do it but the point is that you should do it because it'll speed up your applications